My buddy Arlo here is going on 15 weeks old now, and man, is he growing fast. I mean, take a look at the video where I introduced Arlo um, at only eight weeks old, and it's a huge difference. Dormans grow so fast, it can literally be painful for them sometimes. That's why it's just so important to make sure they're fed right from the very beginning. And you know, Dobermans are known to have a few health problems and some of these we just can't influence whatsoever. But one thing we can influence is making sure that they're fed right from the very beginning. So in this video, we're gonna talk about what you should be feeding your Doberman puppy, how often you should feed them, and uh, how much throughout the day you should be giving them to keep them happy and healthy. You gotta keep these cute puppies fed. Now, when you're choosing what to feed to your dog, you really have two main options. You have the commercial dog food and a, a raw diet that you cook at home yourself. Now, the commercially available dog foods, there's, I mean, there's hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of different formulas available. There's hundreds of different brands to pick from. Um, there is so many choices. You just go to your pet store, you buy a bag, it's relatively cheap, it's easy, um, and it's really hard to mess it up. So you bring it home, you scoop out your dog food whenever your dog's hungry, and that's it. Now the other option is a raw diet option. Now this is great because you know exactly what's going into your dog's food. It has potential to be a lot healthier. Um, a lot of owners have had really great success with a raw diet. Uh, so which one do you pick? Now for me personally, I decided to go with a commercial dog food option. There's a few reasons for this, the expense and the time to prepare a raw diet. But more than that, is I really do fully trust a lot of these commercially dog foods when I've done some research into them uh, that they are delivering the nutrition that my dog needs. Some, some are better than others, of course. Uh, but if, if I didn't believe that they were nutritious for my dog, of course I would not care at all about the expense of the time of the raw diet. But I think you can get pretty close with the commercially available dog food. And you can always add supplements to it uh, to make it even more nutritious. Um, that's why I went with the commercially available dog food and why I usually recommend it to others who are just starting off with a dog. Um, some of the pros who want to feed a raw diet, yeah, knock yourself out, definitely. Um, I mean, I, I think it's a great thing to do. Uh, but you almost can't mess up a commercially available dog food, so that's why I usually recommend it for first-time owners. Now, if you're thinking about feeding your dog a raw diet, that is great. There's potentially a ton of uh, health benefits to it. But the one thing I'd urge you is make sure that you do your research ahead of time if you're thinking about feeding raw and really understand the nutritional value of the foods that you're putting in uh, to your dog's diet because yeah, you can mess it up. And I would suggest going to a vet or better yet, a canine nutritionist when you're just getting started with a raw diet so that they can kind of point you in the right direction. Now, what I'm feeding Arlo right now is Purina Pro Plan Focus. But honestly, I'm not married to that brand, guys. I do a lot of research on uh, dog foods and which one seems to have the best nutritional balance for Dobermans. That's my current recommendation at the moment. It can potentially change, especially if you're watching this video a ways out in the future. So check down in the description of this video and click on the link for recommended Doberman food and treats just to see what my current recommendation is, just in case it changed. Um, as an example, even like six months ago, I was recommending a totally different brand of food, but then I saw some studies that came out that talked about the nutrition of certain dog foods and how it relates to heart issues in Dobermans, and I ended up switching my recommendation okay. to Purina. So it can change in the future, make sure you check down there, but right now Arlo is happy and healthy on, uh, on this dog food. So how much should you feed your Doberman pup? Well, so much of this is based on things such as your dog's individual uh, size and age and activity level, individual genetics, um, even health issues. So if you have a real question about this, make sure you talk to your vet. But most manufacturers of commercially available dog food will print on the back of the bag or, or can or whatever it is, a chart or some sort of guide to help guide you about, about what's right for your dog. And um, these guides are usually based on what you estimate your dog's final weight will be as an adult and what their current age is. Now, in my experience, these guides have drastically underestimated the amount of food that's needed for the Doberman breed specifically. Dobermans are a muscular working breed of dog that's high energy and usually high activity level. And usually their uh, metabolism really burns through these calories quick. So typically you gotta go above what most manufacturers say you should have for your dog um, for a Doberman. So of course you have to do what's right for your dog in your situation. But uh, I'll tell you what I'm doing for Arlo here. On the back of the bag of Arlo's dog food, there's a chart 
and it shows that assuming he's going to be about 100 pounds as an adult and he's about three months old right now it says that he should be getting somewhere between one to three cups of food every single day he's kind of on the upper end of that age wise so let's say the manufacturers are recommending that he should have three cups of this food every single day to kind of give you an idea, I'm feeding him between five to five and a quarter cups of this food every day. And that seems to be about right for him. That kind of shows you how far off some of these manufacturers can be with this dog food, because obviously it's not breed specific. And uh, Dobermans, like I said, they, they burn through these calories really fast. Honestly, this is not gonna be an exact science uh, by any stretch of imagination. So do your best to pick about mm -hmm. how much you think your dog should get. Sit. Uh, based on their activity level and Stay. all the other factors and just kind of adjust from there adjust based on how they look and how they're acting and how they're Damn. acting around feeding time all that kind of thing can help just be input Stay. to help you decide if you need to bump it up a little bit or lower it a little bit and make sure you make adjustments slowly if you have any questions or any doubt about your feeding process for your dog make sure you talk to your vet which by the way i am not a vet but make sure you talk to your vet um, to help you get that dialed in just because it's so important so how many times a day should you be feeding your pup well Doberman puppies, they have small little stomachs and high calorie demands uh, for growing and their activity levels. So really, you got to be feeding them many times throughout the day in the beginning. And then as they get older, you can lower that. So for puppies between six to eight weeks of age, you should be feeding them about four times a day. Puppies eight to 12 weeks of age, three times per day. And once they hit about one year of age and older, you can drop that down to two feedings per day. So when during the day do you wanna feed your dog? Well, in general, just make sure you keep it real uh, consistent and you break it up evenly throughout the day. The consistency will help them get into kind of a routine. It'll help really reduce their stress level overall in your, in your home and um, know that their next meal is coming. To give you an idea, um, Arlo eats his breakfast at about 7 a.m. every day. His lunch is at noon and his dinner is at 7 p.m. He is on a three meal a day uh, plan right now. Uh, and another thing to make sure is just make sure you keep the um, activity level really low after they've eaten a big meal. Um, bloat is a serious thing for Dobermans. And if they have a lot of strenuous activity right after they have a full stomach, it can increase the chances of them uh, getting bloat. And that can be very dangerous or deadly for the dogs. You know, Arlo here is only 15 weeks of age and he's growing just so fast. I definitely plan to keep documenting his journey as we go along and we'll keep learning about the Doberman breed together. You know, I just think Dobermans are so amazing. They deserve to be back in the mainstream again, and hopefully uh, we can help make that happen. So, you know, if you guys would just hit that subscribe button down below and don't be a stranger in the comment section, that would be the best way to support my channel and your support just means the world to me. So leave a comment down below, help me out if you've already subscribed and if you haven't subscribed, hit that button and I'll see you guys next time. During that video and it's a huge difference. Are you mad at your arm there, buddy? Feed your Doberman. How much to feed your Doberman pup? What are you complaining about, buddy? Good boy. Stay right there. Hey, hey. Buddy. You know, Doberman pup. Hey. Come on, buddy. We, are we gonna do an upside down video today? Is that what we're doing? We're doing an upside down video? Okay, let's do an upside down video. That sounds good.